Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We have it. We have it right here. We are going to open what you've been waiting for, the amazing Lympho L-E-M-6. Are you ready for this? Oh, <laughs> this is the first one. Well, not the first, but it's one of the first ones with removable bands. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, ah, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, they told me what to do, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ah, oh, I'm so nervous, okay, I'm supposed to rub it, greetings and welcome back to Smart Watch Ticks, it is mm, an exciting day because in this box, is the most requested smartwatch ever. I mean, ever. There's not a day that goes by in the last two months, I'd say, that I haven't had at least one or two people go, when are you going to review it? Come on. Well, today's the day, everybody. Lempho L-E-M-6 is here. Yeah, we have really been waiting for this one. And it's here. There it is. Yeah, look at this. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. The band is very unique. I haven't ever seen one like that. Let's take it out. We've got an interesting packing system here. And wow, look how flexible those bands are. The stake to claim of this one, one of them, is removable band Android watch. Wow. Nice. Thick little sucker. Look. Wow. <laughs> Big looking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Removable bands. Did I mention that? Okay, good. Let's see what else is in the box. A little info special offer. Uh-huh. What does that say? Can you read it? Okay, good. Any product inquiries, problems, and get ready for more surprise. Lympho.com. Scan this code for details next to a Christmas tree. Can you actually see that in focus? Can you scan that code? Give it a try. Maybe you'll get in on a, a special little deal. There is a charging cable here, and it's using... Huh, we've seen this before, not common, but it's becoming more and more common. It's a little curved kind of an adapter that seems to go probably like this, right? Yeah, and it hangs off the edge. Is this one not quite able to hold the watch? Because the watch is pretty big, probably pretty heavy too. But it's a standard USB kit. Wow, look at all the screws across the bottom. This is really different, everybody. Look at the speaker down here. Six screws. It says hi or ich, whichever way you look at it. I think that's a microphone in the middle. Oh, it's just three lines. <laughs> you get it in the right light and it looks like the word hi. Button, 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 button. They all look like buttons. The only way I can tell up from down is from the bezel where the... I know, we're going through the box. Okay, okay. I just get too excited here. There's a lympho manual and there's your, your token screen protector if you want to put it on there. Uh, I've never used them. Uh, I'm happy with the glasses. It is a lympho manual in English. says, attention, with tiny print. Hopefully you can expand that and view it. A little warning comes over here to some more stuff about the power lock button it's the upper right button to switch on the power and to lock it lock it really you're gonna lock a watch huh okay charging it uses a nano sim it's a standalone smartwatch you know that right that means you're gonna need a sim if you're gonna do phone calls and whatnot Although technology is coming along where we're supposed to start having Bluetooth uh, calling through watches. We'll look and see if that special app is on this watch or not. First class app. Hmm. Interesting. OK. 
Okay. <laughs> First time I'm looking at this, right along with you. I know, some folks say, why don't you take time and learn about the watch before you put us through all this misery of self-discovery? It's not my style. I like the surprise, and I like to share the surprise with you. So you can always play it back in 1.5 or 2 times speed, and I'll go like this, and we'll get done really quick. Otherwise, you can just go along with the flow. There's a couple of QR codes to scan. That'll get us into the tethering app. Please tell me it's something different than the WII wear. Is it? Is it? Did it say? Huh. I can't tell. But we'll give it a try. We'll see what, we're, what we find as the tethering app. But that's your overall lympho manual for this. There's nothing else in the box except the watch and... The most important stuff of all, Banggood! Banggood, you guys are super. We have been trying since, I'd say, October to get this watch. It It's tried, and it tried, and it didn't ship, and then it got started shipping, and it got stuck, and then I think we got it lost, and then it came found, and then it's not supposed to be here, and it suddenly showed up, and wow. You know, I only wish that it would have been here earlier enough that you guys could order this thing in time to receive it for the holidays. However, if you're getting some holiday money, you might want to just splurge and buy this for yourself or your friend. And uh, it's a one gigabyte, 16 gigabyte. That for me is the sweet spot when it comes to the proper memory mix. Uh, you don't need two gigabytes really on a watch. Um, one does great. And, of course, 16 gigabytes of memory is awesome. It's our standard 1.39. They call it 1.4 inch, 400 by 400 AMOLED screen. Support for everything. And a healthy battery at 550 milliamp hours. Use time, they say, about 24 hours. And charging is a little long. Look at that, three hours. Hmm, okay. But it does all this. And wait, there's more. That's right. I'm conserving paper now. I got a request from somebody to not use two sheets of paper to slide it down to one, so I learned how to print front to back. High tech here. Let me call your attention, ladies and gentlemen, to here. You know what that means? The Magic IP67, waterproof, removable bands, waterproof. Are we talking something like the uh, H1 that we've, uh, we've reviewed before with removable bands? And IP67, yeah, I think we are, but I think we're looking at something that's different. It's a, it's a whole different design. Yes, before we are done, I will put it right beside the H1. We'll do some measurements, we'll check it all out, and we'll play comparison of the two that have removable bands. For right now, <laughs> I, want, I want to pop the bands off and charge it up and, and then take it to the next level. Here we go. Oh, never mind taking it apart. Let's play with uh, measurements first. Let's compare the two, the H1 and the LEM6. Let's check them out. Then I'll take them apart. I promise I will. We got a camera on the H1. We don't have a camera on the LEM6, but I got more buttons than you do. Look at that. Four buttons on this one. We only have one button here. This is really tricky to take apart. You gotta have a special screwdriver kind of thing to get into here to remove these wide bands. Can be done, absolutely. This one, well, you're gonna see, simple as popping it out. This is a, it's a pseudo leather, I don't know, stitched rubber. It's stretchable, it's a nice band. Two little things, and that's what the clasp looks like, a little smaller than the sports, definitely, made for water rubberized band of the h1 how did this become a comparison i thought we were watching it oh, never mind we're excited you're excited i'm excited let's look at the thickness now this is odd you know because it's got these little bump up things here so i'm gonna have to try to measure it oh gosh somewhere along in here to get the overall thickness of about 17. It looks like it's coming in at 17, but that's from that little raised bezel edge there on the watch. That's that's on the LEM6. Sliding into the H1, you'll see that it's a little thinner. Let's really bring these down. Is that right? 16. 
16 here. And... Uh, uh. You can see I'm not a mechanic. I'm much more comfortable with electronics. 16 and a half. Well, they're close. All right. Maybe it's just going to look better to do the, uh, the right-hand brain kind and show it to you on. This is what this looks like. Notice how flexible the, the band is. Yeah, I'll turn it on later. And uh, that's the overall look and feel with the bezel that's got the numbers around it. The H1 instead is a stiffer bit of a band. Nonetheless, pretend I've got it clasped. That's what it looks like on. Move out of here so we have a clear picture. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No bezel, really. There's subtle writing on here. It says power and camera. And I don't know, something else over there if you get it in the right light. Screws on the top. This is the black. Comes in silver. Both of them do, I believe. And I can measure this. And I will for the H1 overall width. 50. 50 millimeters wide. Maybe even more if you go diagonal across that camera. 51. But over, you know, generally the circular part of it is 50 millimeters. And here we've got all sorts of ways of measuring. I'm going to go from here to there to give you 51. Wow, 51 from the circular part. If I go button to button, 56 and a half. Wow, okay. And here to here, yeah, 51 and a half. So 51 and a half to 56 and a half diameter, the LEM6 is a wider overall watch. Uh, when you look down on it, can you see that perspective? Definitely with the button sticking out. Okay, we're talking thicker, we're talking bigger diameter. Both of them waterproof, both of them removable bands, right? Now, if you're gonna think about this being a pocket watch with the bands removed, you're sticking out a total of 58, let's call it 59. So you're going to want 59 millimeter box to put it in if you want to carry it in your pocket. Here on the LEM6, more than you ever wanted to know, right? 59.3-ish. Okay, we still have our cover on here. Let's take that little plastic off. Whee! Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> okay, what haven't I measured? Oh, you want to know the bands? Sure. The thinner band, 22.3, call it 22, in case you wanted to replace, you know, with a clasp or something on the end. And uh, your H1 is Himungo, 25 and 25, 25 and a half, 26, <laughs> 26 it is, uh, 26 millimeter band on that. Okay, that way, that way. Now, I'm going to take the bands off of this one because it's easy. Just get in here with a toothpick if you wanted to, or in this case, a tiny little screwdriver. Wow, it doesn't want to come out. It keeps going right back in the hole. When I had these out earlier playing with you guys, it took me forever to get it back. Okay, nice. Now you got nice little handheld or pocket watch with a heart rate monitor built into it. wonder what that little circle is. That's different. We don't have that over here. Anybody know what that one is? Hmm. Hmm. Speaker. And, of course, your curve charger as opposed to your straight uh, standardized magnetic couple charger on this one. Uh, camera? No camera. And let's see if we can turn it on. Now, it said the upper right button. Yeah! Lempho L-E-M-6. It's here. It's really here, everybody. And, of course, the infamous uh, logo that starts up. Really bright, this one, right now. Of course, it's late in the afternoon, and we got the setting sun, so the ambient light out here is uh, a little softer than normal which, of course, with the camera adjusting to average light, is going to make this thing look a little brighter than it, uh, than it is. And it's also changing the color. That's bright red where it says Lympho 6. Coming through all right. 
Yeah. Wow. There's uh, something here, but I don't think that's something you take out. Select equipment language. First setup. English, but what else have we got? English and a bunch of Chinese, I guess, and a few other languages. Espanol, Filipino, my goodness, my goodness, look at these. We got some new language. Whoa, slow down. Wow, very responsive screen. Mar, Margyar, Netherlands. Whoa. Wow. Ah, all right, we're going to go from the bottom up slowly. I think slowly. Wow. Now, each of these symbolic things is an actual language. You know that. And you could put this watch into any of those and be able to read it. Amazing. Okay. I think we've covered it all. So, next we chose English. Are you sure we want that? We do. It's setting the language. Press the screen to switch the dial. We know that. And it's your standard Android 5.1 implementation. Wait, oh, oh, limb fit. What in the world is that? That's new. Is that your tethering app? We'll come back to it. Apps, settings, and then, ah, oh, it doesn't loop. We always look to see when it gets to the very end if it will loop back to the beginning because a lot of times you want to go into the settings and to get there, you can't go backwards, so you got to go through every single one. That's a little drawback. Maybe they'll fix that when they do the firmware update. And you have your standard stuff. There's an emergency contact, so one of these buttons might be for that. We're going to whiz through these things just to show you what they are. More settings will take us in here where you've got all your other standard Android stuff. Down to where you look at your equipment which says it's the LEM6, Android 5.1. These are the numbers, the kernel version. It's uh, Friday, November the 3rd is the latest uh, update for this one and a custom build right there. Keep an eye on that when we're looking for uh, firmware updates. And your dialing, of course, is going to be with a SIM card and your contacts will come from your SIM card connection or your Google when you uh, set this thing up with your Google account. Your Google contacts can show up there. SMS, you need SIM card. There's your overall heart rate. Sport, when you go into here, you can choose your information. Height, weight, age, and your step size, which will help you in getting accurate distance uh, with your walking, and then it'll do its little circle thing, and it'll track your steps. That's all happening. Oh, I hope that's the back, because I hate to go all the way back like that. Then LimFit. LimFit, what is it? Open. Bond. James Bond. Okay, this is probably a new tethering app that uh, Limfo is going to be using, and it's got its own icon. Got to learn about that one. We'll uh, augment it on the video, or if there's no time before we publish, I'll mention in the show notes how you how you use that. And let's see if that goes back. Yeah, good, good. Then the app drawer, and then the settings. And we just went through settings, so here we are in the apps. These are the stock apps that come with it. Your overall watch helper, which is where you set up all your parameters for things you want the watch to be able to do when it's connected to your um, phone. And it says this is the mobile app. So scan that QR code. That'll tell you what app you're supposed to be using. I don't know yet. Haven't checked it out. And the weather, alarms and music, sound recorder locally, calendar, downloads, Oh, has barometer, okay, which means it's tied in with the weather. Your uh, stock browser, the App Store, which is different than the Google Play Store. Usually you get, when you're on the internet and you connect in the App Store, you'll get things like uh, Facebook and Twitter and Chrome. But the Play Store, of course, logged into your Google account will give you everything. Voice search and Google, all related to speaking to the watch. It has a compass in it, okay. Let's uh, do a little calibration, running it round and around and, and bring it up. 
Yep, north is that way. Okay, it's a little sluggish, but... Oh, come back here. Don't go away. Yeah, that's an odd one, but look how it just hones in on it and then stops. Very true. Very true. I'm, I'm impressed. Good compass. File manager, which is where we can see that we have a whole bunch of available uh, space. And you should have, let's see. Oh, we don't have the clock skin folder. So it's not set up directly for dropping new watch faces in here. We're also going to need to check how you handle watch faces. Um, just your basic stuff so far in there. And that is the list of stock apps. Okay. And settings. And you can't loop. However, come back to the main one. Going over everything. Sliding down brings you to notifications. You can't go left or right. Going to the left doesn't go anywhere, but going to the right goes to all those things. Going up gets you to this page where you see your power, whether you're on the internet or not, Wi-Fi or cellular, date and day. Then you come over here, and here's all of our icons. When you tap here, you go into the Zoom display. That's the apps showing up in a square instead of in a circle. This is for turning on Bluetooth. May as well try it. Bluetooth is turning on. Uh, Wi-Fi is turning on. This is the thing that will let you twist it and, and turn on the watch face. And this is your power saver. We have three different levels of brightness. Brightness has changed to the lowest level, which I didn't see much change. Level 2 and level 3. Subtle. Not a whole lot of uh, difference. Uh, here I would suggest you put in uh, our classic app, Display Brightness, because you can get much broader range of, uh, of change in your overall uh, brightness. This is the clean all that we've seen in this version of Android 5.1 that just wipes out any apps you had running. It doesn't let you switch between them, uh, which is unfortunate. The weather, once we're on the internet, would show up here. And that's it. I don't see a, a canned music player here anywhere. No. And we've gone through all these and no music player. So they've lost the music player as one of the things you can get to right from here. And your notifications are up at the top. So last thing is to parade through the installed watch faces. You saw that first one. Let's take a look at them because some of them look pretty much different. Now, while we're doing this, check out the overall width. It does look like it's an edge to edge screen. When you have something bright like this that goes to the very edge, the bezel's pretty darn thick, so there's a good chance the bezel is hung over and, 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 uh, and, and hiding the otherwise black bezel, but it enhances it to make it look that the watch is full inside of the glass screen, that you don't have an extra boundary around there. Seen that on some of the other watches, and it makes them look kind of funny, like small. But this is a pretty darn big watch all anyway. These are some of the stock faces we've seen on several other watches, so we're just going to skip through these. We've seen that one. Oh, this one's a fun one. Aha! Now, a lot of these are um, former designer faces that have been implemented into the stock faces of several different watch designs. Lympho's using uh, this one. Oh, you got that one. That's... Wow! Hey, you guys, if you're seeing your watch face here, let me know in the comments, and I will put it in the show notes that it's a courtesy of whomever, okay? I know some of you, I know some of your watch faces, and I'm looking at them. So uh, let's give you guys credit, even if Lympho and Finau and Number One and everybody else that's borrowing them doesn't. I'd like to, uh, just, just because, you know, it's the right thing to do. Check the edges, check how clean that is at 400 by 400 pixel and how it goes literally right to the edge there is no um no no uh black bezel around this one it's edge to edge screen whoa what is that oh interesting you guys seeing that one have we seen that one before man that's right that's awesome that's cool there's a, uh, oh yeah, this goes way back to like the first watches. 
This is one that, you know, somebody's just learning how to code would make. <laughs> wow. And that's very basic as well. All these we've seen. That's another bright fluorescent blue looking watch. And there's the radar kind of thing. And I guess it's got the hour and minute here and a sweep hand for the radar. Oh, yes, we've seen these. Those are all standard. This is always a fun one to look at on a watch. That's a moray pattern. I had a hand in that a long time ago uh, when we were playing in the XDA world where the idea went out on how can we do this counter rotation and make moray patterns and what would they look like on a watch? And that's one of the results. This is one with the turbine engine. A few more. Oh, that is, that is just, that is a definitely a designer watch face. I so remember that one. Whose is this? Come on, fess up. Yeah, what's the name and uh, what's the link? You know, I'll find all that. Just let me know it's yours and what you, what you call it. And we'll try to put links to all of these custom faces in the show notes. And the wooden one. This, this is like what you find when you hit the plus key. And a lot of these are on the server that you can download. Uh, so they've just been thrown in here for the heck of it. You got a good portfolio of stock watch faces, the little plus sign so you can add more. And I'm sure because they're running on here, you can add designer watch faces as well. So you got yourself an interesting watch here without the bands. Let's see what else the buttons do. That obviously turns it on and off and takes you right back here. That took you back back. Long press on the top one gets you into that SOS. If you set up that emergency number, that's how that works. A uh, long press on the bottom one does nothing, but I imagine if you're somewhere, that'll take you back, right? You like my chickens? Well, actually, they're roosters. <laughs> chickens don't do that. This one, whoa, it launched the compass, the upper left one. Whoa, okay, a second time, what does it do? A long press and hold? Nothing. Let's get back to home. And uh, bottom one, ah, oh, it takes you into your heart rate, which we haven't demoed yet. So let's do it. Do a finger test. This has got the style. There's two or three different ways this is done. This is the one where it kind of ramps up like, you know, the cuff wood on the blood pressure. It goes up there and then it starts to come down and it's just kind of playing with you until it finally gets a measurement and it picks a place and it comes out there and it says, I'm relaxed. Well, that's interesting. And coming into my mid-60s, and if I take my finger away, we always like to know, is it going to just read thin air, or is it going to actually uh, come back and say it's got an error? You notice it hasn't changed from that, so it's locked in on the last reading. Maybe, oh, take that back. It's now moving around, reading thin air. I'm not even pointing it close to me, so it's not like getting a reflection of me. And it's still attempting. Not good. This makes me wonder about whether the uh, heart rate is legitimate or not. When you get yours, try exercising. Get your heart rate up there and uh, see if it's reading accurately or not. That's unfortunate. But it's accessible from a button down here. And it's still reading. Okay, we're going to bail out of that one with one of these two. Let's try the lower one. That took us right back there again. Those are the four buttons. When you press and hold long on this one, nothing happens. When you press here, whoops, it can switch back and forth between them. Compass and heart rate. That will take us all over the place. Look at that. I guess it ran through a variety of things that we had open. And that's your on and off. When you press and hold, you can power it down. Oh, you want to know how do you like silence it and, and, and some of the other stuff? That's all over here in the settings, no doubt, because we're not seeing, as far as I can tell, a place to put this in silent mode. So you'd have to come down here into your uh, sound, right? And from here, you'd have to adjust your volumes uh, because there's no overall um, silencing. But that's what it sounds like. About average coming out of these speakers and of course if it's on your arm press down it's gonna muffle not my favorite place for a speaker 
good watch, but it's got some drawbacks. You got all the other stuff, alarms and things that you can do, watch ringtones, vibrate or not. Um, and the rest of it's basically the same. Okay, so one more thing to try. Well, actually two. Nothing beats a good cup of iced coffee from the Mac Cafe. And not only that, it's a pretty tall cup. So what we're going to do is check the heart rate of water. Yeah, we're going to open the heart thingy. We're going to get it going. We're going to measure it. Let's see if it measures right off the bat, not even touching anything, just hanging out, doing nothing. Measuring, it says. And then we're going to carefully test the IP67 capability. Oh, look at that. It's not getting anything. Oh, that's good. It hasn't found anything to get a signal off of. That's giving me more hope that it's not just a fake thing. So I want a pulse. So, oh no, there it goes. Oh, you goodness. All right. <laughs> there is a bubble in the way. There is the pulse of water. Uh, the good news is it's a, it's a fully waterproof watch. Uh, the questionable thing is uh, what's it doing when it's doing its, uh, its uh, pulse rate. Hmm. All right, while that's sitting there, I am going to bring in on the other side. I tell you, I should have been one of those science school teacher people. I really love this stuff. Here is my scale. It's late in the afternoon, so it's uh, going to be really hard to see the numbers. You see how they fade out on us? So I'm going to have to read it for you. I'm going to hit the tear. I'm going to take the H1, and I'm going to, with the bands on it, Flow this thing over here so they don't go flying. And I'm going to drop it on here because we want to get a reading 76, 75.9. If I lift it, it's going to change it. But it's 75.9 is what it's saying on there for the overall weight. Uh, the weight of the bands is, the bands alone are 27 and a half for the watch. And uh, we got to dig the watch out of here now and put it back together so I can give you the uh, full weight of the LEM6, which is still having fun doing its uh, heart rate of water. Gosh, can I get in here without spilling it? Oh, it's so full. Oh, no, I'm going to spill it. So I'll get it out and hook it back up and we'll test the, the weight. There we are, back together, still doing the heart rate of nothing, and uh, we'll weigh it. By looping it on here, bringing over the scale, making sure it's zeroed properly, it's in grams, and overall weight, 76 and a half. 76.5 grams for the LEM6, 75.9, 76 for the H1. So, what do you think? What do I think? Everybody wants to know what I think. What do you think? I like the bands of this LEM much better. The uh, the LEM6, really nice bands. This is kind of clunky, kind of big. I mean, somehow it feels bigger, but it it's actually it's actually smaller. The H1, it's thinner for sure. It's smaller diameter for sure. Uh, but with those big bands, it just seems like a really big watch. It's got the camera, and it's at a good angle. It's at that 45-degree angle that makes it easier for you to uh, actually take pictures rather than straight ahead or straight out to the side because you usually hold your hand like this, so it makes the camera at, a, at an angle you can use. Uh, but this doesn't have a camera at all. They have the same overall size screen. Um, oh, look at that. Didn't notice that, did you? There's a, It's continuous, what it's on right now, but you can slide up and you can get um, early to lately heart rate records going on in the heart rate thing. I guess we'll just stop it and come back out of here to a watch face. There, okay. Um, this is bezel-less, pretty much. It's just solid black. This one's got kind of a KW88 feel to it with a standard Lympho fancy stitching band. I like the looks of this one better. I wish it wasn't as thick, but I really, really like the removable bands, the waterproof. I still don't know what that is. Anybody figures that out, let me know. We'll put that in the show notes too. 
Hmm, I really don't know what that is. Um, never seen it before. An infrared blaster, if it was pointed at a TV, I would think, but I don't know. Um, this one, I mean, they're about the same weight. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? They're both removable band water uh, waterproof watches. Neither one of them, although I expect the H1 soon, will have that Bluetooth tethering uh, firmware update. Uh, the LEM6 does not have it. We didn't see it in the apps over there. And if it comes on any of these, you can bet I will be doing a video or an update to let you know which watches actually have that capability. We know the H2 does. You can get that Bluetooth calling on the H2. Waiting for it on the H1, waiting for it on the LEM6. And finally, again, if you want to get this brand new LEM6, here's a buying link for you. Available from Banggood, one of our best partners here. There it is with its removable bands. That was such a juicy picture the first time I saw that. Check the show notes for the buying link to get this. If you use that, it helps us out because they're providing these watches in hopes that you guys will like them and buy from them. And hopefully we can also get you a good discount. This changes all the time, the pricing on all the watches. So always check the buying link under the video first to see if it's available, active, and has a good discount. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. This is the review of the year. This is what we've all been waiting for a long time to take a look at the Limfo LEM6, and now you've seen it. All right, we'll see you again soon.